obviously not the results for yesterday, the least full performance you guys wanted in New York. Can you, from you looking back at the game, I mean, what do you feel like went wrong for you guys? Um, I think uh, in reflecting upon it and watching the game and then rewatching it, um, I think one of the positives we can take out of the game is I think that all the damage that was done was done to ourselves. We did it to ourselves in terms of, you know, giving balls away we didn't have to, being a little bit unorganized at times, um, you know, our mentality in terms of tracking back and fighting and things like that. So all of these things are in our control. Um, you know, I definitely think that uh, if we played Red Bulls again this year, I don't think the game would go quite that way. I think we missed a lot of chances. You know, I don't think, um, you know, I don't think they, they cause us too many issues. I think we cause ourselves issues, if that makes any sense. Yeah, they, they press and it makes it tough and stuff like that. But I think ultimately we have to look ourselves in the mirror and know that we can do better and we need to, you know, everyone needs to, to pick up their game a little bit. From when looking at the performance in LA and then the performance in New York, in terms of picking up your game, it feels like you guys may have taken a step back a little bit in New York. It wasn't like a building process game one to game two. What do you need to do to take the, what, those things that you just said and, and actually learn from them and do better in Dallas? Uh, I think we need to take time. <laughs> it's only week two. Um, yes, and it's not easy and we're not playing well at this point, but at the end of the day, we lost two games now and you know we could still win the West, we could still win the supporter shield, we can still do all these things. And yeah, it's not good, so we're not gonna write it off to say, oh, it's week two, no problem, we'll figure it out. We need to take things seriously, don't get me wrong, but I think at the end of the day, um, the break, one, is coming at a good time, and two, it's just a matter of you know, continually trying to get guys on the same page, you know. Having guys that have played together for the last three years, bringing in new staff, bringing in new ideas, I think we need to continue to work on our cohesion and also at the same time, you know, you know, I think we need to just go down swinging, you know? I, I know it sounds, uh, it's, it's very cliche and it, it might not be exactly what might make people think, oh, that's what we need to do. But, you know, ultimately if we go out there and we, we put our bodies on the line and we you run for every play, we, you know, put our hearts in it. Not, not that we're not doing that. It's just, you know, continue to make even more of that effort. I think that um, we have enough quality on this team to, to beat any team in the league. You know, if you look at our roster up and down, we have a very solid roster. It's just a matter of we putting things together a little bit better. You had 10 of 11 starters were here with the team last year. Um, but obviously you have a new coach, new ideas. How do you feel like the group is adjusting to, to Gio's new ideas and, and the style that he's bringing? It just takes time. Um, you know, everyone wants immediate answers. Everyone wants things to go perfectly right from the first minute. But it's just, it's hard for that kind of stuff to happen. Um, you know, so it's just going to take some time, you know. And I think that you know the coaching staff is doing the best they can possibly do to implement these ideas it's just up to us as players to take them talk amongst ourselves with them and then you know implement them on the field you know because the coach is being very clear with what they want it's just a matter of us taking onus on ourselves and you know looking in the mirror and having you know the, the hard conversations we need to have and you know if players need to you know hold each other accountable in certain moments we need to do that but ultimately you know we as players need to take what they give us and then put it on the field and at times we do it great and it works and it you know you can see it but at times we don't so i think there's a little bit um of this uh you know area where we just need to take the time and use it and understand that there's still a lot of season left and yeah it sucks to lose 4-0 and it's embarrassing and it's the worst thing it was probably one of my worst losses as a professional just because just because i it was just awful in a lot of ways but you know we're still second game and we still have a lot of time left when, when something does happen like that as a player would you rather get back out there right away and, and i can play right now like the fact that there's a i have a game? giant bruise on my <laughs> shin but if you'd have told me right after the game we could play again i guarantee every player would have done that um so a lot of times it's weird because when you're playing in the MLS and when you're playing in professional sports, if you're on a roll, you want to keep playing. Mm -hmm. Houston Rockets, the, the Blazers right now have won 10 straight. They want to play a game tonight and tomorrow, and they want to keep going. Whereas now we've, you know, we're not in the best moment of our team right now, but we have a great break, so we're going to use it, and it's going to, you know, it's going to benefit our team a lot. So will we have played again? Yes, but at the end of the day, if we have the time, we're going to take that time, you know, reevaluate things, use the rest that we need, and then come back swinging uh, against Dallas on the 24th, I believe it is.